In this tutorial, I am going to show you a simple trick to bring still images to life. As you can see here, I have downloaded this particular image uh, from the internet. And this is how the slide works. And when I click, you can see here the lights are flickering and the, the clouds are moving from one direction to another direction and slowly from behind the mountains you can see the word good morning is coming out so this way you can simple trick you can bring images to life i have explained more in details actually this is one image i have made them into many layers two or three layers depending on your requirement so apart from this i have just made another one this is the skyline of manhattan when i click the word manhattan will pop out from the the skyscrapers and another one this is the image of the new york skyline and then you can see here the new york comes and the same image i have just made the sunrise when i click you can see the sunrise comes from behind the mountain so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and insert the picture i have downloaded the image of the manhattan uh, skyline from the internet for that go to pictures and i'm going to just select the image which i have downloaded and uh, you have to go to the format from crop just select the aspect ratio to 16 to 9 so that it will fit perfectly on the slide you can see here now i'm just going to put uh, i want to put a text called manhattan and i want the text to appear from uh, from the background but the problem is this is one single image i cannot do that one so i'm just going to split this image so for that select the slide right mouse click and just say duplicate the slide then come to the second slide select the picture go to format and just click on remove background so let me just click on the remove background and when i click on remove background you can see here the whole picture looks uh, purple and only this area it's visible the purple here means all the image whatever the image that uh, will be erased only this part will remain so what i'm going to do is i want only the below part to be uh, visible and then i want to remove the background which is this one for that i can just go and say mark areas to keep you can see here mark areas to remove for example i want this also to be uh, removed i'm just going here and just see now if i just click keep changes that means the whole image is gone but now i want this area to be visible i'll just go and select mark areas to keep and i will just put my line something here so you can see here this area only it is visible so again by default it has gone here so let me just remove later on but you can see here you have to do it carefully you can put you can see here and let me just control z because it has gone let me just put slowly so almost done yes and then just say keep changes now you can see here the background has been removed so i'm just going to select this image control c come to the first image and click control paste control v and that's it now there are two images here but it won't be visible because I have used the same image in the background. Now the next step is I'm going to add the text. For example, go to insert text box and I'm going to type Manhattan and make the font as white color so it will be visible and use some good font. I'm just going to use a impact center align and increase the size as much as you can you can see here so 
so let me just align it properly and I'll just make it the size to the slide now you can see here the Manhattan text is there and I want this text to come from bottom up let me just bring the text somewhat down and I'm going to add animations go to animation enable the animation pane click on add animation go to more motion paths and scroll down and I'm going to select this motion path called up and click OK now I'm just going to drag this you can see here the red point I'm just going to drag up and till here maybe or here whatever and double click I'm going to make it smooth and smooth art uh, start at uh, zero and timings I'm going to make it fast and if you want you can increase some bonds effect if you want and just click OK alright so if I play it will show something like this but there's no animation there is no effect to this one so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this particular text go to format just say send back that's it now if I play you can see here the text has come from the second image you can see here this is just a small example using this technique you can do a lot of things uh, onto your PowerPoint slides so thank you very much for watching my channel that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye